So that was the game's tutorial, pretty much, introducing you to the basic mechanics of the game. In fact, the tutorial doesn't ever really end. It just keeps letting you explore bigger and bigger areas and mm. gives you more leeway. So I guess technically we're out of the tutorial, but it never really stops. There's still more things to learn. There is still wolves out there, more things to pick up. And you should jump off this tree. Ow, I broke things. Sad. That was... Why did you listen to me? I don't know why I ever listened to you. <laughs> I died from massive internal injuries after falling. He just couldn't take life anymore. <laughs> Let's not do that anymore. Uh, you can just load last checkpoint. Hopefully it's not the checkpoint of me halfway down the cliff. It just loads... It just keeps loading you falling off the cliff over and over <laughs> again. Why did you think that was a good idea, Mike? Taking advice from you has never been my strong suit. Yeah. Well, that's the long dark, everybody. Wow, what a game. Don't play it. Don't play no, it? No, I'm just kidding. It's a really good game. You should totally play this. It's fun. We haven't even been paid by the developers. Who, are, who developed this game? Uh, Hinterland Studios. Did they do anything else? I've never heard of them before. I think this is their, like, first game, technically. Really? Yeah. Opening on a strong note. What if... What, oh, man. What if this is the best game they ever make and everything is just downhill from now on? That'd, that'd be kind of downhill, sad. Downhill, like you jumping off a cliff? Yeah, let's not have that happen. Oh, uh, well, I guess I could take some more meat. Meat! Meat! It's always good to have this meat, yeah. We have now scavenged everything out of this... Well, I say that, but look, there's still a whole bunch of fur left. What did you just do? You I just got... You just bruised yourself and, <laughs> and tore your clothing somehow. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I... Like, when you reach over too far and then part of your shirt tears. Oh, uh, I would I would just reload the save because that's ridiculous. I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> I sprained my neck. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not playing on the hardest difficulty, so I'll be able to make do... Uh, what's, uh, my, what's my goal for the day, anyway? Your hand feels stronger now. It's time to climb out of the ravine. I would just load your last save, because that's ridiculous. <laughs> no, it's just the luck of the draw. Some, you know, it's just, sometimes you yawn. Oh, just load the last save. 99.9% .9 of the times you yawn, you just yawn, but that 0.1% where you yawn and you sprain your jaw. Yeah, this isn't real life, so you don't <laughs> have to deal with it. If something like that happens, then you can just reload. Oh, thank God it's not real life, because that would have been where my game over Finally was. You're right there. Why don't you make it happen again? <laughs> nope. Just jump right off. Nope. Jump off. Your hand feels better. Why don't you try to climb out of the ravine? <laughs> and here we go. Yeah, sure. I kill myself while I'm in perfect health. And then when I'm injured, I stay alive. I like how your hand is completely healed after four days of having a giant piece of ragged metal shoved through it. Well, those berries are magical. Mm-mm-mm. And now that we're out of there, we can explore a brand new area. It might take a little bit to climb out of here because... <laughs> Rose nips. Yeah, we're kind of down here. Rose nips. Rose nips. Rose. <laughs> if they put a shirt on, they're rose pokies. Yeah. <laughs> You're really going crazy with those rose hips, huh? There's no penalty for taking them. It's not like there's a huge amount of time wasted grabbing them. And you never know. <laughs> At this rate, I'm going to be keep, I'm going to keep on breaking and bruising everything. So I'm going to need all of them. Valid. Well, you know what, Mike? What's up? I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I don't like that song. I, think I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Mike's gonna jump off this cliff. I'm gonna go back down to the cliff. Because he hates this song and I'm gonna jump off this cliff. You think I'm joking, but I will throw myself off a cliff and I hear a song like that. I stopped singing it. Okay, then I won't kill myself. <laughs> Is my clothing frozen? Probably not. Clothing doesn't get frozen while you're wearing it. it well, something wet, ripped. Though. I don't know what it what was. What did rip? What? I don't know. No, my sweat was my sweat was well, orange. Well, your your sweater is at nine <laughs> percent. My sweater wasn't in the best condition, or maybe it was my pants. I don't know. Your pants may have ripped. I don't even know. I split my pants. <laughs> well, apparently, I'm gonna have to play through this because I'm not used to any of this stuff. Yeah, I don't think the game was updated in the last week or so. So I think that's just part of the. Games mechanics if you're playing this difficulty level. I, I think. guess. Yeah, I if think. you're playing uh if you're playing this survival mode. This uh narrative. Oh, what's this? It's more pieces of your airplane. More wreckage. Maybe good supplies. Maybe I'll find oh, maybe. Astrid's body and be able to <laughs> My character would just go crazy with grief. No, Astrid, I can't believe it. I'm just like Take her shoes. What kind of what size uh, socks is she? Oh That is your airplane. Yep. Oh, this is what happened the night before. Yes, this or, is well four days ago. This is when the Aurora Borealis hit and struck our plane out of the sky. Everything was fine until the Aurora Borealis <laughs> nation struck. <laughs> they used to be married. How could you know that? Because he was wearing, he was wearing a wedding ring and all of the things. Well, they both had wedding rings. That doesn't mean they're married to each other. Uh, well, she did just say our wedding ring. You just fly airplanes. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and drinking in the daytime. 
Okay, we had a lot of... It's control. past noon somewhere. And it's under control. I know, okay? Uh, I'm not here to fight, really. Obviously it is under control because you didn't suffer any alcohol withdrawal symptoms in the first four days, which <laughs> can kill you. <laughs> Wait, it can kill you? Yeah, if you're, like, addicted to alcohol and you don't get any alcohol, you can legitimately die from alcohol withdrawal symptoms. What are the symptoms of that? Uh, headaches? Can you get a headache so bad that it kills you? No, like, you can get... Your body, it gets so used to alcohol that it gets really sick and you can potentially die from alcohol withdrawal. Oh, it's a good thing I don't have alcoholism then. I didn't yeah. realize it was so severe. Not now. Just let me tell you. Well, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. And here is where the event happens. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit. What's happening? It's an EMP. Hold tight. Oh no! They're going down! Well, well you better go check the airplane, see if she's still in there. Well, I would assume that. Well, hold on a second. That's where the airplane was, and I guess I got ejected down into the ravine, which is down. I also hear here. crows, which means that uh, she might be dead around here. Yeah, she could be. I could find her yeah, body. Yeah, you were right down there. So you fell all the way down the cliff. Wow, I fell a long way. So she's around here somewhere, right? Maybe? Ooh, there's a pretty waterfall over there. Too bad I can't get to it. I might have been wrong, so you might have to cut the thing out about alcohol withdrawal, because I may have been way wrong. <laughs> you're looking up the symptoms of alcohol withdrawal right now to see if you're giving bad information I or might not. be giving bad information. <laughs> well, let's hear the truth, Zach. Does alcohol withdrawal kill you while I'm picking up all these claws and reclaimed woods? Can alcohol withdrawal cause... No, not depression, because of course it causes depression. <laughs> I found some orange soda and some jerky, so I think I'm good for life. Hey, now, I broke down this crate and I got some wool socks and... Oh, man! A down vest. You know... You are living the high life, my friend. I think it might be random what items you get inside of crates, because I don't know if I found that the first time going through this. But I'm going to put it on right now because I'm dying of hypothermia. Yeah! Also, a second set of socks. Oh, they're frozen! You have to, you have to go into your... You have to go into the little clothing menu. It's all frozen. You can't do it from there. It's all frozen. It's all Ooh, frozen. What's that? It's a torn piece of cloth. Sprinting! Run for your life! Why are you telling me about that right now, game? Should, should, should I be afraid of something? You know, I don't know if I grabbed that can before I left. I may need to go back down to my original campsite and grab that. Yes, it is possible to die with, from alcohol withdrawal, but it's not common. Okay, so it's... You have so to I, have, was, I was wrong. It, you, well, kind of. You'd have to have severe alcoholism. I, it can potentially... Alcohol withdrawal can potentially cause seizures, which could kill you. Hmm. I'm getting really cold right now. I need to cook, or I need to... Stones, yes. This is where the tutorial for throwing rocks at rabbits comes in. Yeah, throw rocks at rabbits. I could never get this to work right. I hit one of them before, but right now my pressing matter isn't hunger, it's... Find a cave! Finding some kind of shelter from the heat. The cold? Yeah, well, yeah. The anti-heat. Careful! Careful? What do you mean? You are you were kind of slamming down that ledge really fast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you should take that stuff that's hanging from the tree, because you can use that as a... Uh, no, 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 behind you. Behind you. Behind you. There you go. That stuff. Ah, this stuff. Yes, I can use this. You have to prepare it, but you can turn it into like a like a bandage. Ah, yes, old man's beard. That's it's uh it's like an antiseptic. It's good stuff. Yes, wound dressing. It's good. It's actually good natural remedy to have. But right now, I need a fire. That's my most pressing concern. I've got plenty of berries. I don't need those. I need to find some kind of shelter. Why does there have to be a cave around here? You know, you can also if you kill one of the rabbits and you stuff it into your jacket, it does generate heat. Does it? Yeah. Huh. Because it's a Fresh, dead animal. I guess technically, yeah. Although... So it does actually help keep you slightly warm. Although, can I get a rabbit, though? Yeah. You, you know, you can aim, right? Oh, like that, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna stand here throwing rocks at rabbits and hope I hit one, because... Eh, What's that stuff? It's a campfire and some jerky. Somebody was here. Yeah, and they left a plug and some firewood. Hope they don't mind. I'm gonna use their fire. Do it really quickly. There we go. There we go. Now we can warm up the campfire. Add some fuel. Add plenty of fuel. Why don't you lay your clothes out next to the fire so they, uh, or lay some of the clothes out so they, uh, thaw out. Which of my clothes need to be thawed? Oh, yeah. The stuff you just found. <laughs> yeah, the stuff I just dropped. That's right. Don't drop them in the fire again. I have to keep reminding myself not to do that. Okay, good. Yep. 
Yeah. Yep, they're thawing out. Okay. Don't Careful. walk into the fire. Don't walk into the fire. It's so easy to accidentally set yourself on fire here. Okay, okay. We've got the clothing here. Now the food and the water. We can get that set up. I guess I don't need... Well, I've got some food here I can cook. Uh, why, now that you're warm, why don't you get some more water going? Yep. And uh, go throw rocks at rabbits. Am I warm? Oh, I am. I'm very warm right now. Now is the perfect time to do some hunting. Now that I need food, I'm not pressed for food, but... I guess I could also gather some sticks. That might be more important. But actually, that fire's got like four hours on it, so I should yeah. be good. So, this rabbit here. Nope. Nope. It was close. Run, rabbits, run! Mike's gonna kill ya! <laughs> Come on. Whose side are you on here? I'm on the rabbit yeah. side. Mike's a terrible hunter! Run, rabbits! <laughs> run! He's so bad at this! I am, but so are you. It's so. alright, I'm terrible yeah. at hunting rabbits. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> He has no fear. <laughs> He's taunting me. Oh. Wow, you really <laughs> suck at this. Mike, oh my god, you're terrible. I ran out of stones. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh. Okay, I gotta lead him a little bit, it looks like. You gotta, you gotta move it up just a little bit. I, I mean, I would, I would feel bad about killing rabbits, but in a survival situation, I probably wouldn't feel too bad about killing rabbits. And I'm kind of a sociopath, so I don't feel bad about killing rabbits in general. Oh wow, you're you got problems, <laughs> man. Uh, did you, were you ever one of those kids that did anything to animals? Cause no, I never did anything to animals. I love animals. It feels like every kid goes through a, fra a, a phase where they're pulling the wings off flies or doing other. Oh well, those are bugs. That doesn't count. <laughs> Yeah, I, if you mean, have I, like, poured salt on snails? Yes, I've done that before. Oh, really? Like, you watched a snail shrivel up and die? Yeah, it, I did it once, and I was like, wow, that's kind of fucked up. I'm not going to do that again. But, I, oh, yeah, I would totally just melt ants with a magnifying glass, because that's just funny. Yeah. I... Ants, don't even, ants don't even have, like, personalities or anything. <laughs> They're just... Haven't you seen the movie Ants? Of course they have personalities. Yeah, the are you talking about the, the great American classic directed by... Uh, I'm talking about the document the the documentary from D DreamWorks. Woody Woody Allen. Woody Frick Allen's it. Woody Allen's the director of Ants. Is he? Yeah. I don't think so. He was. Is he? Yeah, I think he was like the writer or the director of it or something. You're, you're still a psychopath for pouring salt on snails. Um, hey, your meat. It's cooked and not burned, so I will take that. How's the water? It's gone. It's gone. Of course it is. You spent too long <laughs> uh, trying to kill rabbits. Yeah, that stuff's still thawing out, so. I'm gonna kill some more rabbits. Kill my first rabbit. I dropped a stone, a giant stone, on a frog. And that's probably the only instance I can think of me torturing animals. Oh man, that's mean. It's not even really torture, it was just instant death, but still, it's unnecessary cruelty. I'm not saying it's something you should do. You shouldn't do it. I mean, there's no reason to do that, but I feel like every kid I feel goes like there's some a difference. Kind of there is I feel like there's a difference between killing a frog and Torturing rabbits, probably just because they're mammals. Oh, you think it, they're mammals? I think, like, difference? the cutoff is, like, mammals. Like, if you're torturing mammals, that's really that's really messed up. How about this? Don't torture. Yeah, don't torture anything. Yeah. If you get your jollies off by torturing stuff, seek help. <laughs> yeah. Go get help. Like, talk to somebody about it. Someone that isn't going to... You might need to see a counselor for that. Yeah, you might... You want to, you want to talk to a counselor about that. Ooh, ooh. You can get him this time. Oh, nope. come Did on, man. Again, didn't lead him enough. You suck at this. Yeah, I think I'm just wasting my time right now. Why don't you just get a big old stick and just hit him with it when he comes running by? Honestly, probably a better strategy. Remember to squeeze, don't pull. <laughs> on the rock? Yeah. Don't need that advice. The rock has a trigger. <laughs> a hairpin trigger. It could go off at any it's got second. A, it's oh, got come a, on. It's got, got a hair trigger. Ah! ah! Mike jumps off a cliff. Rabbit puns. You probably should go check on your water. <laughs> it's probably boiling away by now. It's probably all gone by now. What's your favorite method of torture, Mike? Is it dropping a large rock on someone? <laughs> you know, I don't have a preferred favorite. Do you have a favorite? Solomon Grundy form of torture, oh, which is just dropping a rock on them? How do I choose? They're all so great. Ugh! Come on, you stupid rabbits. Oh, I didn't get them. I ain't gonna get them. I would just keep on moving. Yeah. I'm gonna... Nah, I'm just using all my stones. Not that it matters. I'm gonna just throw these stones until they're out of my inventory. I did actually hit a wolf with a rock. <laughs> did it scare it away? Uh, no, it just pissed it off. <laughs> it was not happy. You don't say. You were aiming way too low. You're right. 
If you had actually hit it on that long ball, I would have <laughs> laughed for days. Uh, how's my water doing? It's boiled. It's good. It's gone. It's all gone. It's yeah, all gone. it took too long again. <laughs> I had too much fun. All oh, this stuff is still stupid wet. Uh, this stuff is damaged, but I can't really repair it. Nope, you cannot yeah, repair it. I don't know why I'm not cooking this meat in my inventory. Why you already not? cooked it. It's already cooked. Is it? Oh, yeah, yes, it's, it's already cooked. Just eat it. Well, I'm hungry, so... Yeah, you're super hungry, so it, I would just eat it. It's getting eaten right now. I'll save the jerky for later. How's this doing? It's still cooking. Well, I have to pass the time, so I could go back to hunting these rabbits. You know what's going to happen if you hunt the rabbits. You're just going to get distracted and spend the entire time hunting rabbits, and then your water's going to boil over, and then you're going to be gone. This is just like the Oregon Trail. You go hunting and you get 200 pounds of food. Oh, God. And then, yeah, you leave <laughs> You leave 198 pounds of food behind. Throw a rock at that rabbit. Just hit the rabbit and get this over with. <laughs> on this one Put it st- out of its misery. You better hit this one. Oh, oh come on, man. <laughs> All right, that's it. You're done. I'm cutting you off from these rabbits. Uh, Tell me about the rabbits, George. There was one time there was a rabbit. He came right towards me and I hit him with a stone. Great story, huh? Tell Go to bed. The ra- that's a terrible story, George. I'm going to strangle you now. <laughs> Watch out for that treat now. <sighs> okay, okay, we're All done. All right, you need we're to done. keep moving because it's going to be nighttime soon. <laughs> so you need to get your water. You need to get out of here and keep moving. Uh, once I get my shotgun, then you'll see. You'll, you'll, then you'll you be sorry. You don't get a shotgun in this game. <laughs> Not allowed to have a shotgun, nope. Uh, it's done. It's thawed. Socks. Yeah, whatever, wet. just take them. Yeah, that's still cooking. 26%. Yeah, just drink it. Okay. Seems like a bad idea, but how bad could soda have gone, really? How bad could it be, really? You know. <laughs> he vomited horrifically for six hours. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, I should probably put this on. Uh, uh, no, you're not. You have to go into the clothing menu at the top. <laughs> Stupid interface. There you go. Now put that on. Up to 9%. Ooh. That's, I'm just going to take the can. I'm taking it. Good enough. Taking the... No, just pick that up. Okay? Campfire is going to burn for five yeah, minutes. Just leave it. Go, 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 go. Up that way. No, no, no. That way. There, there. I timed that perfectly. That campfire is only going to burn for five more minutes. So... Dar. That was perfect. Let's keep on going. I guess this is the way we're going. We're going to try and go around this log, which is just way too insurmountable for me. Can't climb it. There's no way you can possibly jump. No, space bar doesn't jump. That's the radio menu, so I don't have any other options. There's no cable over here. This has been a waste of my time. Raid. Raid. Radio menu. Oh, I can just climb this. Yeah, you're right. It's starting to get really, really windy, and it's going to start dropping in temperature, so I really should get out of here. Go this way. Find something. Ooh, I got to crawl underneath this. That's right. I bet you do. Oh, I'm getting blown away. Are you really? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Wait. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, I think something's just glitched. <laughs> I'm not holding any of the controls. I'm just drifting to the right no matter what I do. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> okay. I guess maybe my D key got hey, stuck. Hey, there's a cave right here. Awesome. You grab these sticks and make a fire, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know if you have enough to make a fire. I picked up a lot of sticks. I didn't have to use any. Sticks, sticks, sticks of the jungle, that's, strong as he can be. That song is stuck in our heads now and won't leave. And into the cave we go. Okay, it's going into a new loading area. So, I can't see anything at all. You can use matches. You have a bunch of those. Where are those? Oh, there we go. I have, n- I have nine. I only got nine. Uh, I thought you had more matches than that. I thought so too, but whatever. I guess this is what you have right now. Ah, dead body! And a bedroll and a torch. That's just what I need. I'll equip that. Uh, uh, why did you throw that away? Why did you do that? I needed that match! How do you light the torch? I will probably use that... Uh, uh, yeah, we'll just use this. You just turn around, there's just a bear right there. It wouldn't Whoa. surprise me, honestly. Bedroll? Yeah, you should take that. Definitely taking that. I won't be able to carry it with me everywhere. I need to start a fire or something. You need to start a fire so you can get this torch get going. It, yeah, exactly. Since I can't purify any water and I've got no food to cook, I'll just start taking a few steps into this cave. Maybe we'll go and see the end of it? I don't know. I don't know how deep it goes. I'm just going to keep following the no, right wall. No, I did body! Oh, nope, no, nope. just more rocks. Nope. I'm going to follow the right wall, so if I get lost... Just... Oh my god, Tremal's algorithm. Didn't say Tremal's algorithm, and honestly, Tremal's algorithm would probably be too complicated for me to use right now. I'm, I'm in a very basic survival area. I'm just going to follow the right wall. 
And probably a Another torch. torch. Probably in better condition than I... Ah, it's a worse condition. Yeah, I'll just take it. And is that a recycling Ooh, a new can? new can! Now you can boil twice as much water. I could extinguish this torch if I wanted to, just kind of throw it in the snow. Nah, I don't think I'll do that. And... Oh! Oop. I, hey! Start a fire right here. I could. I could take some peaches. I could take some anti... Nope, don't extinct. Extinct the antiseptic and... What's in the backpack? What's in the backpack? What's in the box, man? Lantern fuel, sewing kit. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, and you got all kinds of stuff. Lost it, in the storm. A note. I left for the others, but the storm turned bad and I couldn't keep up. Some turned back to see if they could wait it out at the old church. I kept going, but I think I took the wrong term. I'll backtrack in the morning and see if I can find their trail. Alice. So not the person that came with me. Some other survivor that was hanging out in this area and probably long before I was even here. Well, you could uh, start a fire at this campfire right here, or the one you had back there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go back the way I came, because there is no real reason to stay out here. Um, Actually, what was that? Have I been down here? Oh, no, my torch is going out, I think. I can't see. Can I uh, light the torch with the other torch? That's harvest. I don't want to harvest. I want to use it. <laughs> you idiot! Fine, drop the torch and don't use the other torch, you freaking moron. Now I can't see where I'm going. So add just a little bit more to it. There we go. There you go, for like an hour or two. Uh, and then fix all your clothing. Oh, yeah, now that I have that sewing kit, I can yes, probably do that. Yeah, a sewing kit. Yeah, I got a bunch of cloths, so that sounds like a great plan to me. I'm a little hungry, but that's fine because I got plenty of food, too. Where is my... Oh, I can probably just go into the radio. Yeah, go in your inventory. Yep. No afflictions? That's a rare sight. I don't see that very often. No. Oh, nope, there we go. Okay. Um. So what is in the worst condition right now? And also, I have some gloves, so put those yes. on, too. Yep. What is in the worst condition? Um, let's see, probably that. I would fix that. Will's sweater, actions. I could repair that. I have a cloth, 95% chance of success. It takes 25 minutes. Sounds like a good use of my time. Although, I, if I could use the can to make some purified water at the same time, I should be doing it. That's back up to 50%, that's not bad, not bad at all. It's, for some reason, it's not letting you use the can, probably because there's not technically snow around. Uh, it's kind of frustrating. Yeah, that might be the case, yeah. Well, why don't you just put your bedroll out, go to sleep, and then the next day you can uh, do some more exploring. I could. Is there any other thing I want to repair before I do that, though? Uh, look and see. <laughs> um, what was that that I just saw that had a 1%? Yeah, uh, yeah. you might want to fix those pants. Those might have been the things that got torn. I don't know. But yes, repair my pants before they fall off. <laughs> what if I oh, find... Try it again. They failed. Oh, what if I find my companion and she finds me without any pants on? Will she be confused or will she understand? She'll be barefoot going, I know, you failed your repair objective too. 35%, not bad. I repaired a little more. Okay, they're Yay, back up 67. to 67. That's really good. Everything else is about 50% or more, except okay. for these socks. Which was, Yeah, these socks. I'm trying to repair these socks. They're ragged. Uh, I wouldn't. No? I would just I would just leave them as they are, because if you can find some better socks later, those are just going to be materials. I suppose that's true, but at the same time, the more stuff I repair, the more I get my repair skill up. Eh... So. Uh. I guess it's a trade-off. Oh, my campfire burned out. Start a fire. I shouldn't have let it burn out. That's negligent of me. Tisk tisk. You got so enamored with trying to repair some socks. I love sewing! It's pretty cool. I used to love sewing, honestly. I used to do it a lot for my Boy Scout troop. Oh, uh, yeah. Used to put it on... Yeah, we had cadets. It was like a Christian boy, a Christian yeah, version I'm of the Boy Scouts. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. Yeah. So, sewing was, I believe, one of the badges we could earn. So, I did plenty of sewing. And every time we got a new badge, you sewed it on. I was okay. I'm okay at sewing. I'm not great at it, but I know enough to be able to repair basic stuff. I don't think I need to start a whole bunch of fires. No, so... I would just put down your bedroll and take a nap. Good idea. How do I do that? Bedroll, right. You just got to find Not place in the fire. Oh. You need to, I think you might, you <laughs> might want to stand up when you're trying to put that down. That might help, yeah. There we go. There we go. Nine Actually, hours. Should I eat before I go to bed, though? I'm kind of hungry. Nine hours. Nine hours? Yeah, just eat when you wake up. Okay. I suppose there's no harm in this. If I get really hungry during my sleep, I'll wake up to eat. It'll force me awake. You've died in your sleep <laughs> from hypothermia. <laughs> that happened to me, like, the first time I Wait, played this from game. from hypothermia? Were you sleeping? Oh, oh. Hold on. Hold on a second. I'm very thirsty and very hungry. Yeah, I woke up in the middle of the night because I'm hungry and thirsty. But I got plenty of drinkable water here. Just drink some of I don't this. Think you woke up in the middle of the night. I think you slept for eight hours. Nope, I, I, I didn't because you can tell from the status. It's like, well, maybe I did sleep for eight hours. I don't know. Eat those dusty pinnacle peaches. Oh God, they're so gross. It, no, it took me a while to open the can. Oh wow, that's all the food I got out of it. I'm still so very hungry. Guess I have some tasty, tasty jerky. Sure, why not? 
God, I'm still so hungry. And I honestly... I wouldn't eat anymore. I can't see where I'm going. Yeah. You uh, might want to go back into the cave and wait another hour or so. You know what? Uh, I think that's a good plan. I'm going to go back in and go to sleep maybe for an hour or so. Well, this is definitely different. This is not... Uh, I might have to actually go through this at some point. Give the campaign a try? Yeah. There's a lot of different modes. I, this is a really solid game. There you go. Uh, I can't tell where you are. <laughs> Even though it's frustrating when moments like this happen. Okay, I'm stuck between a, a tree and the cliff. Okay. The cliff is on the right side. I'll just follow the cliff until I go in. That's how it works. Yep. I'll find my I, way. You're still crouched. That's there why we. it was taking you so long to walk <laughs> everywhere. So yeah, it's um, it's definitely interesting, and I'm probably going to have to give it a try. A really good game. There's not much else to say about it, except that it's really fun. Definitely worth trying. Yeah.